Here's my problem with the government giving BlackRock a ton of money to buy ETFs. So an ETF is a collection of um, sometimes similar stocks, sometimes not similar stocks, like buying um, someone that sells the S&P 500 um, would be an ETF. But there are variations of that also. So um, here's my problem with BlackRock having $500 billion to go buy ETFs. Um, you're not being conscious of the companies that you're protecting. Because uh, should we let bad companies fail? Yes. Should we try to support good companies? Yes. Uh, what's a good company and what's a bad company? That is the question. And that's why if I was in charge, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm going to give a half a trillion dollars to uh, one fund manager so that they can buy ETFs. What I would say is I'm going to bring together, um, I'm going to create a council, the council on how, on who is worthy of my money. And then I would say, okay, uh, I, I pick one person from Berkshire Hathaway. I pick one person from BlackRock. I pick one person from American Funds. Well, well wait, American Funds is Capital Group. I pick one person from um, J.P. Morgan. I pick one person from Wells Fargo. I pick one. I pick three academics. Uh, I pick Bill Gates just because I, I want someone that isn't a a, a banker, um, and I pick. Um, Someone from, or, or I pick two people from the oil business. It sounds weird that I would say that, but yeah, seriously. And uh, we're going to actually choose companies to protect. And we're not going to say, I'm going to buy the oil and gas ETF, which is a collection of um, 500 oil and gas companies. Um, I would much rather actually be conscious of the companies we're buying. And that way, if we're buying a company that just um, added... They, say Tesla, what they did is they produced a ton of stock. They, 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 you can issue a bunch of stock and, and then that ruins your price if you increase the amount of stock that your company offers. So when the, when the stock was super high, Tesla offered a bunch of extra stock for sale. And somehow it didn't hurt their, the value of their stock very much, which is super weird. Um, but um, I would say we're going to actually look at these companies and decide who matters? Because right now, um, for me, I think it's weird that we're protecting certain companies. I think it's weird that we're protecting certain airline companies because if we're trying to solve the energy crisis, don't we need to massively reduce the amount of air travel? Yeah. So why would we give them a ton of money to protect them? I don't know. I, I might pick some winners and losers out of there, um, which I, I feel like for a lot of people, that's not democratic picking winners and losers. But that's why I would pick, have a, a diverse council, maybe 20 people, and we, we wouldn't buy ETFs. Maybe we would buy a ETF, a very specific one, or a couple of them, but uh, we would be more concerned with companies that, like Caterpillar, like companies that are going to really struggle right now that we might need to be around in the future, John Deere. Um, uh, uh, there are a lot of companies that are going to struggle right now that we need to protect. And um, in my opinion, um, buying ETFs is going to going to protect too many people. And I know it's I know it's super weird. I just sold my stock right after the com the government um, gave five hundred billion dollars to BlackRock to buy stocks. But it's just um, the government picked too many winners. Even Newt, Newt freaking Gingrich said that that bill is full of a shitload of pork. It's full of a bunch of welfare babies. It's full of a bunch of people that are going to the government and begging for money when uh, they were about to they were about to fail with without the without the COVID nineteen crisis. They were already about to fail, and then now we're going to save them even though they were already about to fail. Pretty stupid.